Welcome to Hentai Mosaic Neko Waifus. I thought I said Hentai Mask and I was like, I'm not familiar with this particular branch of Islam. Mosaic is such a weird word. It's not spelled that way. Like, that, it, Mosaic is M-O-S-I-A-I-C. It's, it, it's not A-I-Q-U-E. Mm. I don't know well, what the fuck I, that well, is. Well, I googled that, right? Yeah. And it, it they definitely... Is it like a whole other different mosaic? It is, it is. That's so insane. It's, it's not... Um, is it something Weebs came up with? Or is it just a different spelling? I so let me let me bring Am it up. Am I gonna okay? get like some weird fucking kaleidoscope of cat girls? Cause like So usually it's supposed to have a um dot two dots up over uh, the eye. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember what the name of that was. Um that was almost rendered extinct from fucking English, but like apparently the New Yorker forgot to get rid of it and then the guy that was gonna do it died and now it's just still there. It's it's in naive. I can't remember so what it's called. It's it's essentially the French spelling of mosaic. Right. Oh, okay. Um, that's what it comes down to. Uh, this was gifted to me by my good friend Lucasan. They're not your friend. So shout that's out to Lucasan. Anybody who gives you whatever no, the fuck Lucasan this is. Lucasan is just a person who goes very far on jokes. So I came back to the computer uh -huh. and sat down, and I was with him, and we we're about to play some Destiny with another friend of ours, Narvin. This is why I don't think you should have like other friends and outside of I this. I just I catch the tail end of a conversation and tail I just end. hear hentai mosaic neko waifus. Like I didn't know that's what they said at the time. Yeah. I just heard I heard uh, hentai heard some sounds, and some things. Yeah, and yeah. I'm like, excuse me. Hentai is gonna stand. Excuse out. me, what? Excuse me, what are you talking about? Luke's not just giggling the shit and a few seconds later it pops up on my screen. Luke yeah. has gifted you this, like and so I mean is that all right, look, so the, th the problem I have with a lot of these is that it's not enough of a game and it's not enough of porn. I mean, are you fucking like, it, it, tell me it gets m more than this. I don't know, dude. Because like, I, sw I will I, fucking I lose my goddamn no mind idea. if it's just this. I mean, it can't be because this is re looks really easy. I thought it was going to be a block puzzle or some shit. Look, you can choose oh, to level Jesus, up an ability. Is it just like fucking blocks of fucking cat girls and clothes? Oh, that's an ups that's not Peak. a tree. Thanks to this ability, you can see puzzle pieces are not being solved yet. Okay. Oh my god, it is a fucking punch of love. That's like not even the fun kind of game. I don't know, I'm having fun. Who makes these? C click Peak outside. Level. How about go outside, whoever made and plays and enjoys this? Huzzah. I haven't even said anything yet. Uh, now, see, now I'm just suspicious. Like any woman that's just into me immediately, I just assume is some kind <laughs> of CIA plant. Like it's, like I don't trust you. This is, this makes any relationship incredibly challenging. Yeah. Constantly checking to see if they're wearing a wire. I don't think we need to replay this. How do I, I go back is... to the other one? I mean, women are just cats. Small, Mostly, yeah. cute, make noises unless being cuddled or fed. We're gonna rotate. I mean, I'm assuming pieces. it gets more. I don't want it to get more complicated because I hate these kinds of puzzles. But I'm assuming it gets more complicated because I think it so. Cannot just be this. Surely not. Because some people say it takes about an hour and a half to complete. So. Unless Ugh. it's just an hour and a half of these, but that would be a lot of these. It's not, no. Like, yeah, that's, and I don't understand, okay. Punch of love causes nearby blocks to rotate by one, activated automatically. I mean, is that good though? Isn't that just inconvenient? Like, I don't, I mean, I think we're, cause I don't think we've even had a puzzle yet. I think like they're talking about some fucking element of cat girl revealing that we haven't seen yet. Yeah. Are you uh, though? Are you trying? Puzzle solved. I think it's because I'm nearly 40 that it's just like, can I have one that's not <laughs> retarded? No. Like, can I have one that I don't feel like I also have to partially raise up to like a functional adult level? Click the clack. So speaking of destiny. Okay, there's a fucking, wait, no, there's a... There's a what? There's a thing over on the, oh, it's just filling in how, I was looking at the thing on the bottom left there, like, because there's a sandal. All right. Well, don't do the destiny thing yet. 
Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do that separately. All right, sir. It's like, I fucking, man, I remember like, you know, back in the day where like you'd get like, you know, porn magazines and you'd find them in like the forest for some reason. Wait, and what? That's, well, we had like- <laughs> You were finding porn mags in the forest? Yeah. Well, obviously people going in the forest were beating off. Yeah. And that's troubling. Yeah. When no, are they beating off? What well, time okay, are they like, beating off? I mean, like, because you lived in, like, a cleaner suburb. Like, I, like, my backyard was a backyard and then, like, bushland. Mm. So, like, there was tracks and shit. So you'd just go walking off and follow these tracks. And you'd find stuff, you know, like, there'd be, like, a burnt out, like, van. And there was, like, a tree that had fallen down into another tree. And you could just walk up of it. And because, like, the tree that had fallen had, like, a Y in it, it was, like, this toilet. And people used to shit off there. But there, sometimes there was just, like, porn in the van. So it was like the magic van that, uh, this burnt out magic van that delivered porn. And you just see tits and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, that's all right. And you, you fucking, you know. Oh. We wouldn't. Yeah, it took a while. You had to level up to seeing like, you know, you get like a fucking hint of vulva. And then you'd like, you know, fucking women getting all spread eagle and shit. And that's confronting when like you're fucking, you know, nine. And like now. It's just like we go from zero to this shit. And I'm kind of curious as to what, because we're not going to know what this is doing to people for a little while yet. You know, because I don't think it's necessarily bad, but I also don't think it's entirely good that like people could just go from like zero to watching a lady use a bad dragon to lay eggs in herself. <laughs> you know, like there's just... There's phases for a reason, you know? It's not like puberty just happens in 20 seconds. You know, there's, that's a process. Mm. And I feel like elements of that have to be reflected in, like, how you get exposed to some of this shit. Because you're supposed to become, like, it's supposed to take you, like, a good 10 years to become a weird fucking pervert, you know? I mean, if you're like that at the age of 15, where's fucking 40 going to be for you, <laughs> you know? This, but... VR goggles, maybe, I guess. Yeah, well, maybe it, like, fucking circles all the way back around, mm. you know? To um, what, though? Well, just fucking, like, I don't know, holding hands. Like, I, it's, it's possible. Like, you know, maybe my understanding and approach of it. We don't know. Like, that's the thing is, we don't know. There's just no data on this yet. Yeah. Which way she's... Oh, goodbye, mouse. There's two mice to steer the cat girls. Like, I... You know, like, fucking... And look, I am 40. Where's some fucking Volva in this? What the fuck am I fucking rotating blocks just to... They're not even moving that much. You're not like, 40. I thought science had this shit figured out. You're not 40, are you? Almost 40. You're like 37. Oh, I'm like 39. Are you? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, how do you think I feel? I didn't realize. Fuck me. I've lost like two years. Yeah, fucking, you know. Fucking Lyrica. Yeah, I suppose that's going to be fun for you. You're just having like fucking... I've got blanks. Dementia. Yeah, yeah, dementia early. I mean, I do, but I was also on drugs for 12 years. True. Starting at 16 is not what I'd call a good idea. Mm. Ooh, Sayuri, what do you bring to the table? God, you all just look so annoying. It's all right. When we move to Japan and become a pro wrestling slash Japanese comedy duo who doesn't understand Japanese, we'll be... That is a brilliant idea. Will be the best. Uh, you know, that, that, that could 100% work. Once, once the physiotherapist fix my back and they implant me with the electronics, I can go to Japan and they'll think I'm some sort of, like, god or something. We'll, we'll just say you're one of, like, the, you know, the 17th angel or some shit. Yeah. Yeah, there were some extras, you know. They just had some spare angel parts lying around. And Lord Almighty. A new fucking Samsung phone. It comes into three parts. <laughs> Did you see um what they're doing with the Surface Duos? Uh, do you know what a Surface Duo is? Oh yeah, no, I saw something about that today. How it's got like, I mean, like I'm all you know supportive of them doing this, that, and the other with it, but like I hate touch screens. Do not make good control pads. Generally, no. No, they don't. 
Like, there is some things, like, a game that's a mobile game that's designed for, from the ground up for some element of that, like, then it's okay. But, what like, well, you know, it's still, it's still not great. Fuck. Unscramble your cat girl. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Um, so, yeah, for those who don't know, the Microsoft Duo is a Microsoft phone that is a foldable phone. And they made an update to the Xbox streaming app so you can stream xbox games to it and the bottom screen becomes essentially a sort of ds looking control scheme i mean don't get me wrong that thing would be fucking wild for emulating the ds like 100 mm, you know, dude because you put you, you put one of those little game fucking control clasps around it and bingo I, bango i immediately I mean? looked into it and it's like not available in australia and it's like of course they're not um and apparently there's a second one coming out very soon so I mean, I, as, yeah, as someone who has a tablet and a phone, and I, because I, I like, I, you know, I have a big collection of, you know, ebooks and shit, and I find mm. that very convenient. So I love the idea of a phone that can turn into something I can comfortably read a fucking ebook e on. Mm. So I don't, I don't like, you know, reading on the phone screen. Oh, like, the abilities on the side. I've just never used them because I'm just that good. I mean, what the fuck do the abilities do? Like, what would be helping us here? Well, the peak, I guess, if there's going to be ones that where there's hidden. I hope, I hope something happens. What's up next? Oh, did I not solve that? Isn't it solved? I thought it was solved. It looks solved. Uh, I feel like that's... No, that oh, was okay. a, the earpiece was slightly off. Sure. Oh, yeah, the magical a, mirror That's a lady. threatening... Oh, there we go. Let's go okay, peek. Okay, look at that. Ta-da. All right. I don't know what that did. <laughs> So yeah, I've got some abilities that activate automatically. Well, I'm glad something actually happens in this fucking thing. I feel something like this could be like almost useful if like this concept could be harnessed to teach people some basics of like sexual anatomy. They need to like because with the, the thing is, like, the dick's fairly cut and dry, you know? Like, there's not a lot of fucking secrets, you know? Release really like to me your secrets, yeah. Peen. No one's like, ooh, the mysterious penis. It's like, no, it's, it's there. Dude, Peen secrets. <laughs> Have you ever heard a Peen secret? It just whispers to you. If you get closer, it, you know, you can hear the, in the urethra, you can hear the ocean. <laughs> A dick to your ear. Yeah. Hear the ocean. I mean, don't knock it till you try it. You don't know now. You're curious. Yeah. I bet you are. Who doesn't want to hear the dick ocean? Yeah. How old were you when you learnt of the dick ocean? It's like a puzzle, but with less... The dick sea scrolls. Don't release me. I don't care if you like it or not. Well, now we're going to have a long, boring talk about consent. I don't uh, know what that's doing, though. Well, I don't think you should just use it every time. Because, like, there were... I think last time there were some that were covered. read it. But, like... You can see puzzles not being solved yet. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so, like... So, if, the, if you're struggling to see, like, the one... That might be just slightly off or something. Yeah, if you are b a combination of un somehow fucking unable to solve these and B, somehow driven to fucking complete this, then the game has... Game's got you covered, champ. There's like five of these. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Well, the cost of one artist and Lord knows they're cheap. I think it's one dude. That makes sense. It's like how the whole of Toho is just like one guy mm. and he's not gotten any better at drawing in like the past 20 years. <laughs> That's very funny. Well, I think the thing is now, I don't think he can get better at drawing because if they were ever like, if you know, if they showed up, it's like, oh yeah, look, you can like, you know, it doesn't look like one of those like Western books from the nineties about how to draw anime. Yeah. Like people will be immediately suspicious, you know? Like it's just he can't improve now. It's like how Drew Carey had to have fake glasses because like no one 
Like, yeah. Like, you no know. one knew who he was without him. Yeah, like the glasses were him. Yeah. Like they were part of him, you know? That sucks, man. Just imagine that. It's like, yeah, I don't need him anymore. You need to wear him, Drew. Yeah, you need to wear them because, like, your head is just fucking weird without oh, these dude. goddamn, like, without you know. Without the weight and the glasses, he just, he looks odd. Yeah. Because he has a real big noggin. Mm. Like, it's just too much negative space. And, like, you know, he's got, like, that kind of, like, fucking real flat surface of a face. So his features just don't stand out. No, it's like how Andy Richter looks like a friendly version of the radish spirit from Spirited Away. <laughs> you just know he's like that, that's that one perfectly smooth color the whole way over. Yeah. It's almost featureless. I like Andy Richter. He's good value. He's very funny. Yeah. Cause like, I remember when I first started with like when Conan first started getting broadcast in Australia. It's like fucking. What's the tails at the top? Or we're not allowed to fiddle those yet. I can't fiddle. Yeah. Uh, can't fiddle. Nonsense. Oh, that look right. There you go. Look at that. Fucking. Be rubbing cat girls in no time. Unlock. Release. Oh lord. <laughs> the puzzle that is woman. Imagine if, like, this is what happened. A good woman took you home. She was like, hey, you want to come home with me? And you're like, yeah, sure. And you get there, and then she just shifts. No, yeah, woman, I'd, woman, 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 I'd, I'd into, be completely, like, yeah, I'd, no, see, like, I'd be completely ready for it, because I know something's going to happen. Like, <laughs> and I'm just like, this is a trap. I'm going to get fucking alien abducted. Or, like, you know, I'm going to fucking, they're going to have my organs. That's not helping. Oh, that is not a help. Oh. Now settle down, you girls. Let me get the spray bottle. <laughs> that would be a way to deal with it. The situation, because you could just be like, yo. Fucking cactus waking me up at night, and I, you know, I didn't get a good night's sleep the other night, so it's it just fucked. And I'm just like, look. You know, I don't mind if you're hungry or if there's a fucking reason, but sometimes it's just like, hey. Can you just come look at my food bowl for a second? Like, no. Yeah, so now, now there's a if you meow at my face while I'm clearly asleep, I'm just grabbing your head and throwing you off the bed. Mm. And she has a brain the size of a fucking knuckle, so. I'm sure any of that's sinking in. Have you tried tiny power bombs? Uh, that's more of an affectionate thing. It's a reward. Mm -hmm. That's my reward. Because normally animal communication is fairly fucking easy. It's just smack. Like, that's just universal, you know? Ah, uh, it's like the other fucking day. Like, I'm downstairs in my little, like, workout realm, and this fucking just poodle walks in. <laughs> and <laughs> you know what, what that fucking cunt says to me? What? Wolf. <laughs> you fuck and, off. Yeah. And so, like, it wasn't like... Wolf like fucking a threatening wolf. Yeah, like, like, like a, a yeah, like I'm walking past its house and it's it has like, to it's like, like yeah, wolf. Yeah, well, like, like see, that's the Fuck. funny. It wasn't a playful wolf either. It wasn't threatening, but it was just like, it was, it was a questioning wolf. Yeah, and like one of those, it was one of those bullshit fucking questions though. That's not a question so much as it's a fucking statement. Because like, the wolf was like, I wonder who's in charge here. Yeah, and it's like, you've. Because dogs understand yards. That's their whole fucking world. As a domestic dog understands fucking yards. So it knows it's out of its yard. Because that's where it's gonna fucking go running after I deal with it. And it knows that it's in someone else's yard. Because otherwise it wouldn't be having a cheeky explore. So it's coming to my yard. Down my fucking driveway. Mm -hmm. Into my back. Like my backyard. Like it has, to, it has a walk. It's not like it's just bumbled in the front fucking door. Like into my fucking under the house area, looked at me and just thought, huh, maybe I get to be in charge here. Now, I took slight offense to that. And also, secure your fucking pets, because if it bites somebody or something, it's gonna get put down. Melee was out. Not because I'm afraid of fighting a fucking dog that size, 
It was a full-size poodle. It's not like one of those little poodle lit things, mm. you know. Like, and they're a fighting dog, believe it or not. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. They are. The French bred them to like mangle fucking you know rats and shit. Like that's oh. what they were. You know, it's not they're like it's only recently we've been breeding dogs to just be like hideous abominations that are funny when in a purse. Well, you know, <laughs> every other fucking dog, even the like terriers, and those are like just little mops. Like those are ratting dogs. Like if you got to get rid of like a hundred rats, you get like four fucking terriers. And those little cunts will fucking eat those things, man. It's nuts to watch. That's insane. Yeah, like it, it, like you can look it up on fucking YouTube. There's like people moving whole like chicken coops and shit, and like the hole underneath of the thing is just like this rat fucking you know den, and they've just got like this big fucking hound looking thing that digs them up, and then the second it digs them up, like it'll, it'll rattle run off, and then this terrier is just like fucking on it, <laughs> and will just break its fucking neck, and then the fucking big thing will just swallow it whole. It's like, oh man. Animals that are bred for things just that that scares me, dude. Oh yeah, we've we've just like you know fucking intelligent designed jobs into these things. It's a lot of fun. So like the closest thing I have to hand, like you know, is my sledgehammer, and that thing's seven kilos. And I don't. We're not at like beat a poodle to death with a sledgehammer territory. And I really don't want it to get to that point. No. Because I feel like this can, because it was, again, it wasn't an aggressive wolf. It was just, it was just an incredibly rude wolf. So it's like, all right, well then fuck it. We're going like ranged. So it's time to break out magic missile. <laughs> and now I know you, Aaron, and everybody at home knows that magic is real. It's just, I haven't found anyone to fucking teach me Hadoukens yet. So magic Look, missile. I've been trying to learn Hadoukens for years and channel the chi and stuff like I've tried everything so I'm with you, you still on this. have weed to help you I know so I you know magic missile in this instance is a 1.1.5 kilo weight plate that I have like a dozen of for some weird reason I think someone was like selling like 220s and that's really good to get if you can get them and then they were selling 220s and also like just a fucking dozen like 1.5s and it's just like you have to take the 1.5s mm. you're not allowed to walk out if someone's trying to get rid of 220s and a bunch of their little fiddly weights you just gotta you have to take the fiddly weights so i grabbed one of these and the key to hitting a poodle in the face with a fucking weight plate is to line up the elbow and the thing is and it's like punching a human head is like people and dogs will instinctively move when they see something coming to the face Right. Now, with a human, you can read this based on several factors, like whether they're left or right-handed, what leg they've got, you know, in the front, like, you know, where their body's positioned and stuff like this. So rather than punching for where their head is, you can make an assessment of where it's going to move to and read the fucking dodge and punch to that. Mm. And that is horrendously effective uh, in any kind of, like, you know, sparring or, uh, you know, fun kind of, like, backyard martial arts situation. And also in copping small animals in the face with a fucking weight. So I, with a, you know, the thing is with a dog, because dogs have four legs, so it's just a fucking, you, you're not, you don't know where the fucking, you know, leverage is going to come from. So I just fucking took, you know, took a guess and like, led a little bit to the left. Fucking whapped it right in the goddamn snout. And, you know, because I have a cat, and it's like, I don't want this thing to come into the yard and like freak my cat out or attack my cat, because then I will beat it to death with a sledgehammer. But like the sound of this thing copping it in the nose and then it yelping and piss bolting out of the house and hearing it yelping all the way up the fucking street to wherever the fuck its yard was. It's just so tremendously satisfying. It's like, I am the hunter. I have discussed myself a dog. I suppose people used to hunt with the fucking discus. 100%. Yeah. I understand javelin. Because, like, javelin's are just spear. Everyone has spear. There was definitely a discus master. Yeah. His name was Trent. <laughs> Trent Discus. Yeah. I'm Trent. This is my discus. Because, like, like, the fucking boomerang that you get in Legend of Zelda and shit, that's not where the Aborigines stopped with boomerang. They have, like, other boomerangs. Like, fucking... They have, like, fucking, you know, heavy weapons boomerangs and shit. Mm. And those don't quite come back because they're just too fucking heavy they're kind of shaped like a big number seven they're the nuttiest fucking things yeah but like they will fucking on an odd angle careen into like an emu or a kangaroo and just bust shit and trip it over 
Well, you see, we needed those because the back then we had the um, kind of like the Star Wars because a lot of the inspiration for the 8080s came from the natural. There was a cousin of the emu that actually had four legs and they were <laughs> huge. So and delicious. We needed the, yeah, yeah. So we needed the heavy weapons guy to come and essentially, you know, he was the biggest and held should it. fucking add that to Zelda, the big fucking boomerang. Yeah, yeah. for sure, dude. I mean, you kind of, there was, they kind of started adding a few variants, like with the Lizard Foss ones and stuff. So yeah. hopefully we see some more. Boomerai. Boomerai? Boomerai? Actually, yeah, no, the, the Lizard Foss ones were a little bit closer to like, closer mm. to that one. I just remember it in fucking like school one time. So it's like, yeah, these are the ones we used to hunt like fucking kangaroos. And it's like, fuck me. There's kind of like an edge to some of it and shit. Huzzah. Ah, oh, Jesus. Doing well, we're at 26 minutes. You turned me on, girl. Oh, snap. Like I'm not. Like, who enjoys these? A lot of people, apparently. Yeah. I kind of want to look at their heads. <laughs> what, the shape? Yeah, well, the size, the general lean of it, like... You know, it's not a phrenology thing. It's just like, you know, you kind of want it to be. Like, you kind of just wish that you could look at it at, at like this weird fucking mutant, like, this shaping thing and just go, oh yeah, that kind of like, that lets me understand this part of the world now, you know? Hmm. Because you can't just look at their brain, you know? You can't like pull that thing open and just go, oh yeah, fucking, there's the fucking little, there's the bit of the wiring that's like turned him into someone who enjoys not even hentai rotating puzzles. I want there to be McDonald's rotating puzzles. Weren't there as a Happy Meal thing back in the day? I feel that like probably, probably a Happy Meal toy. I mean, like I could see this being on a fucking, you know, McDonald's thing. Like that's not... None of this is even... I used to be, oh wow, she fucking brought a baseball to the office. That was a great story. Fuck, I love you. I just want to hear you talk constantly. I don't want to put you in a trolley and roll you down a hill. Let me tell you the story about, like, the thing I used to do. I brought a baseball to the office. Cool. Just fucking throw it at someone or something. Something happened with the baseball. I don't think you can... I don't think a sentence constitutes a story. I mean, it can in a very technical sense, but like, you know, that's just the weird shit that like people who study narrative, you know, talk about. Hmm. Did I ever tell you about the time Rocco and I rode in trolleys? Is this how his kidneys got fucked? No. Is that just God hates him? Probably, yeah. That's what he gets for being a big Nintendo fan. <laughs> so we were on top of the Intrapilly car park roof. <laughs> and it was... It's a high fucking roof too. Yeah, it was quite late. And at the time I had a Ford laser hatchback. And... Okay, so you're of driving age. Yes. Uh, and we pushed the trolley with the front of the car. Someone got in the trolley. And you nudge the trolley with the car. Yes. Why? Because we were young and fucking stupid. All right. yeah, that, well, I mean, like, you know, was there, uh, my, my, when I say why, like, I know that, but I'm like, was there a reason on the day? It's like, hey, I'll nudge you with my car. That'll make it go faster or some shit. Like, no, because we were like, yeah, because we were pushing the trolleys. So you go up slowly and then someone would get in it and then you'd go up to speed. Right. Uh, yeah. Then, so you were using the car to get to, the trolley up yeah. to speed. You weren't just nudging it. No, no, no not just like pushing it down it. a yeah, hill. No, God, no, oh God, no. Okay. Yeah. That was a that was a lifetime ago, man. Wow. I'm surprised I remember that. Did, it, did did he crash? No, no one ever got. I don't think really hurt, which was kind of a bit of a shame. Well, not really hurt, but like you can take a fucking smacking. Oh no, like not even that. Like that, we were just laughing too much, but it, no one ever got hurt, which was amazing considering. I had some wildly close calls, but it's like the worst injuries I got were like not doing dumb shit. Oh, really? It was just, yeah, like 
I think one of the real bad ones I had was like, oh yeah, I'll try standing up on the skateboard. And it was literally just that. Like I wasn't, you know, cause he used to sit on the fucking thing and go down hills and shit. Like, you know, they were basically used as a form of street luge. Yeah. Cause like, you know, there weren't fucking half pipes or any shit around and like, no. you know, we're all fucking, you know, eldest of us is eight. So it's not like fucking we're, you know, actually physically capable of skating anywhere really. It's like, oh, yeah, I'll see, I'll just fucking, I'll stand on the fucking thing. And then just like, I don't know, I probably my, my weight in exactly the wrong fucking point. Just went, whoop, and then just ass over fucking tit, just brain myself. That hurt like shit, so just head straight to the back. But like, you know, I nearly impaled myself once. I went off my bike and that fucker, that put the fucking willies into me. Just like that kind of thing where you land and then it's just like, oh, what am I touching? Oh, one of those bits of fucking, like, rebar that they goddamn, you know, use to reinforce shit. It's like, mm. oh, okay, cool. Yeah, the tip's sharp, too. Like, I fucking missed that by, like, you know, a centimeter or two. Yeah, fuck, dude. Oof. Yeah, it's just like, I literally nearly would have fucking died. Shut up. Show me your butthole or something. Like, Christ, what am I here for? Show me your bunghole. Yeah, this is like, this is, like, this is so much, it's not even listening. Like, I'd rather listen to a woman than this. At least sometimes a woman's stories go somewhere. I'd like to jigsaw you. <laughs> you mean you'd like to do a jigsaw with me? No. I means what I says. Clickety clack, clickety clack. So my rotator cuff is pretty fucked. <laughs> Kinda sucks. Just getting physio on that at the moment. I got myself one of those new fucking back massages. Yeah, you showed me. It's called a what's it called? Uh, well, you know, when I was looking at it on fucking, like, Rebel Sport, it looked like the ray gun, and I was really excited about that, because I mm. thought it might involve some kind of lasers. But it just says Theragun. But, like, so the first one I had was, like, a Tim Tam, and it was literally, like, I really think it was a fucking jigsaw. Like, mm. one of those things used to cut, but, like, you know, with a knob on the end, so you could just work your fucking knots. Right. And, like, I remember that was good, but that, I also got that, like, four or five years ago. And like, I think either the charger or the battery fucking broke, but like, it just wasn't, you know, I could have the fucking battery in overnight and it would say it was charging, but it would never say it was charged. Right. And then right. it would have a bit of power, but then it would just die after like 30 seconds. Gotcha. So it's like, I, and it's like, I fucking need this thing now. Like, this is just what keeps me fucking moving. And so, you know, for some reason Afterpay has decided that like, I'm okay to have like three grand. And I was just like, well, fuck it. Like, I'm, you know, like, I'm trying to like build savings again. I was just like, I need just this. A tiny bit closer. You know, I need my back to work. So yeah. I was like, fuck it. I'll get like, you know, because the fucking Tim Tam was like 600 bucks when I bought it. Right. And like, look, are these things 100% necessarily worth this much? I don't know. But the fucking, I got the Theragun Pro because the other one was like only like, you know, What's the bucks. difference between normal and a pro? Well, okay. So, well, there's, 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 there's a variety of levels. Like, mm -hmm. you know, because I. The fucking, like, the fucking thing that I can reach on my back now with this thing, like, you know, I, I, I have a lot of fucking pain and a lot of, like, usage for this beyond that. So, like, it has, like, you know, there's, like, a basic one that's a little thing that you grip, and then there's a sort of advanced version, the Elite or something. And it's, it, it's not bad, and I was almost going to get that. But then, like, this one has, like, replaceable batteries, and it came with two batteries, so you can just have it charging and working and charging and working. And it came with like a full collection of different heads for the fucking, you know, punchy thing. And the top rotates. But Ooh, like... What's rotation do for you? Um, well, it lets you get at different angles. Okay. Like, so the little poundy stick can like shift, you know, to different things. But like the coolest thing about this fucking shit, which I discovered when I got home and immediately used it was like, oh, fuck yeah. Was like, it's got this, it's a triangle. So you can grip this kind of a thing in any permutation and get leverage at any point. And so, like, there's this one fucking bit on my back, and I've discovered it's, it's more than fucking my back. Like, it's under a rib. It's really fucking weird. It's like the opposite of a clitoris. It is seemingly a piece of me that is designed only for severe pain, and it's I've been a working it. <laughs> 
I've been working on this fucking thing, and I, it, it's gone from like, cause I used to think it's like, oh yeah, it's like the bottom of my fucking ribs, and then now I've chased it, and the, when I hit it at the bottom of my ribs, I can feel it up in my neck, mm. you know? This thing, yeah, so it's got like little, it's got like a, a pointy head, and it's got like, a, it's, it's still a nub, and it's not like sharp, because you know, they don't want you killing yourself with it. And then several little things. But yeah, it's got like this head that's like, I don't know, like I describe it as a tuffet. Like mm. I think, it's, like it's this little, like you know those fucking makeup puffs that women have? Yeah. In for fucking the 1800s, I don't think they use those anymore. Like, it's like that. And it, but you can fucking, you can work the neck with that, and fuck it's good. Yeah, I had to go with it. It was pretty... I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the shit out of it. Yeah, because it's got, like... It goes... The fucking... I mean, I don't know if it's RPMs or whatever the fucking shit. The vibrational frequency. Like, you mm. have settings. So you got, like, 1750 to 2400. I don't know what that's counting. I'm assuming thrusts per second. Um, and... Yeah, I like it all up... You know, pretty much all the way. Because, you know, fuck it. I don't know what the lower version's doing for me. I'm just hound myself with that. I mean, I recommend them. Like, if you're... You know, because I feel like... Because I wouldn't have recommended the Tim Tam, because it was just too fucking harsh. Because mm, it was yeah. a piece of... It, like, for, for you at least, because it, it was a piece of hardware. It was a hardware. Yeah, hard like, because, like, I... It was way too violent. that on me, it was rough. Yeah. But this thing has, felt yeah. nice. This thing has, like, settings and feels like it's actually a designed piece of like is that her fur or is she wearing like a no, she's suit she's wearing or like something? a skin tight suit i think i don't know what the fuck's going I on i don't know this. let me have a look wait what is that it no no i How went about back that was it so i could have a look at the photo none of you have any personality and i want you to know that that does count oh no that was it is that all of it i think that's it Whoever said an hour and a half, you fucking suck. This was 37 minutes, bitch. I'm the best. Did I did I get the world record? Everyone else is beating off, so I'm just sitting here actually doing it. Not even anything to fucking beat off to. The fuck am I beating off to here? Fucking school holidays are almost on. There's fucking less clothed things than that walking around the Maya Center. Look at that pink. That's some nice pink. That's what I enjoy. Fucking, you know, dumb fucking 17 year old little tartlets fucking desperately trying to feel like adults. Did I win? Did I get all the achievements? Who cares? I don't know. I'm just, just interested. Let's just say yes. Where's my achievement? Because I think you did better because like you, you beat it without getting some of the things. Nice. There are not a hundred. Like that's the thing. Like I uh, report a bug. Yeah. The person who made this. <laughs> You're, you've been deemed a glitch in the gene pool. You're going to be quietly retired. Good night. Good luck. Spay and neuter your Neko waifus. <laughs> Keep It Classy is proudly sponsored completely by its fans. We thank you for your support. It expanded somehow. I'll have you know.